there, guys! Welcome back to another episode of How to Make a Short Story in Scratch Junior with me, Sammy the Robot. Yay! I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode, which was like an introduction, and that you guys did the homework. Ho <laughs> ho! All right, guys. Well, today we're going to really get started. So. Today, we're going to learn how to draw a character in Scratch Jr. So, I'm going to be painting a flower, but you can paint whatever character you want. So, let's get started! Okay, first of all, just make sure that you have your iPads ready and on your iPad, that you downloaded Scratch Jr. And just to let you guys know what we're gonna do today, today we will learn how to create a new character. We will paint the character and we will learn to learn. Oh no, <laughs> we will use different tools in the paint editor to do that. Okay, guys, so um, this is the paint editor. If you're looking at this and thinking, Sammy, I have no idea what this is. Oh no, that must mean you didn't do the homework this week. Uh-oh. Well, no fear, guys. If you are confused, just head on to www.ottiya otia.com and your parents can look at the homework and lots of awesome resources so you can get all caught up. Well, I hope you guys did it. If you didn't, feel free to pause the video, do the homework, and come back on over. Well, assuming that you're all ready to go, let's get on with painting our new character. Yay! Alright guys, so let's make sure that we have opened up the Scratch app. So you do that and this is the first screen that you'll see. And then you can create a new project. And then this is the first screen that you'll see. So it look like this. And then to create a new character, you want to go underneath the cat and click on this plus button right here. Boop. As you can see, there's a lot of characters that have already been drawn and you can choose anything you want. For example, let's say I wanted, mm, I wanted this castle, for example. Then I can just click on it and then click on the check button and then I would have it right here. But then today, this isn't what we're gonna do. We're gonna paint our own character. So I'm just gonna press this for two seconds and then it starts shaking and wiggle wiggle. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, and then I just press the X and it is poof, it is gone. All right, so let's try that again. So press the plus button and then press this paintbrush and then this is the paint editor before you do anything here it's really important to name your character well of course you can do that later too but i know what my character is going to be called so i will do that now i'm going to call my character flower what are you going to draw okay well you can show me later and i'll show you how you can show me <laughs> Okay, so to draw this flower, um, I'm gonna start by, I'm gonna choose this paintbrush tool and then a really thick brush and then I'm gonna choose green. And guys, as you can see, if I choose a thick brush, it's gonna go look like this. It's pretty thick, right? It's like, poo, poo. If I choose a thin brush, it would look like this. So you can do whatever you want. But I'm going to 
choose a thick brush and green because I'm gonna draw a flower. You guys can draw whatever you want. Okay, so let me draw the stems. Boop. Just make it a little bit long. Yep, that should do it. And then the leaves. Ooh. And another leaf here. Ooh. Okay, that should do. Um, I can color it in with the brush tool, but I'm gonna use this thing here. It's called the paint bucket. It's really cool, guys. I just click it and I go back to the leaf and I go boop, boop. Aha! And it colors it in for me, which is so cool. And then I'm gonna go back to the paintbrush tool choose red and maybe i'll change the brush size to that one this one's a little bit thinner yeah it's a little bit thinner than the first one i chose yeah i like that one okay and i'm gonna draw the petals now so i'm gonna imagine that there's like a circle and just go boop and then maybe a boop. Oop. Make sure it's filled in. And another one here. And another one here. And another one here. It looks kind of funny right now. But I can use none other than the paintbrush tool. A oh, paint bucket. <laughs> yeah. And then I go boop. And color it in and then I'm gonna choose the circle tool and yellow and I'm gonna draw a circle right here okay that's exactly where I want it but let's say I didn't want it there well no fear guys you can use this arrow tool right here and then you can move it. Ooh. But I want it just right here. So that's good. And then I'm going to choose the paint bucket tool again. And then boop. There we go. I've colored it in. Now I want the eyes. So I'm going to click on the circle tool. And black. And then I'm going to draw a circle here. And another one here. And back to the paint bucket and fill it in. Boop, boop. And then paintbrush to draw a smiley face. Hop, hop, pink. Yeah. Pink. And then ta da! Ah, that's a nice flower. What do you guys think? I'm pretty happy with it. Okay. Well, if I am happy with it, so if I'm happy with it, I just have to click on this check mark. Check. And there we go. Here is my beautiful flower. Oh no, I can't see cat. So it's really easy to move it. All you have to do is click on your character and drag it to wherever you want. Like the cat. Woo, you can move it around. And there you go. Or I could move around the flower, maybe over here, so they've got lots of space. And there you have it, guys. That is the end of today's lesson. Yay! Alright, so this week's homework is to draw your own character and put it in this scene. Um, if you guys want to show me what you drew, you can ask your parents or teachers to help you out. And you can share on Twitter and take O-T-T-I-Y-A underscore G-L-O-B-A-L global. And you can use the hashtag short story scratch junior. Yay. Okay, guys, I hope you had tons of fun. If you need extra help, you can ask your parents to go to 
O-T-T-I-Y-A.com. I guess I'll see you guys next week for another fun lesson. Alright guys, 